Hi, I'm Carol with the Roaming Boomers. I'm here with Kate Crawley at the Herd Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Kate, you know, some of our uh, viewers may not be familiar with the Herd Museum. Can you tell us a little bit about the museum and some of its history? Sure. Well, um, the Herd Museum is a point of pride in Phoenix. It's actually been open since 1929. It was founded by um, a couple, actually, May and Dwight Hurd, and they were actually quite a power couple in their day. He started um, what's now the Arizona Republic, our main newspaper here in town. Um, they owned land. They also did a lot of traveling, and both in their regional travels and in their international travels, they became uh, really big collectors. And finally, one day, their daughter-in-law said, you know, you guys are kind of running out of room in your home. Maybe you should open a museum. And so they did just that. So the museum is, um, we like to refer to it as a living museum. It's of native arts and cultures. So when you come here, you'll get to see a lot of the traditional artwork and fine artwork, but also artists um, who are working today, contemporary artists. So it's really a mix of both. And uh, we like to say that you're experiencing the authentic Southwest when you visit the Herd Museum here. Cool. Thank you. That's fascinating. You know, we get lots of visitors here to the Valley. Tell me, tell them why, why should a visitor put the Herd Museum on their must-see list when they come? Well, we have our signature exhibit home, Native People in the Southwest. And if you've ever wanted to know more about all the different tribes here, um, Apache, Navajo, those type of tribes that everyone's really familiar with, or some of the uh, smaller tribes, uh, Arizona itself is actually home to 21 different tribal communities. So that in and of itself is extensive. And you can learn about that here, but you can also learn about um, all kinds of different native arts and artists. Um, so you get a, a good mix, like I said, of contemporary artwork, traditional artwork, and so you get to learn about these cultures through the different types of art that they produce. Well, sounds good. I know when we were visiting the valley, we made it a point to come visit the herd before we moved, moved out here. Well, I know you have an exciting new exhibit that Dave and I are going to be taking a tour of in a little bit. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the exhibit is called Pop, and it features artwork um, in the pop art style, both from the 60s and um, with artists working today. It actually features a, a mix of uh, native artists as well as a few pieces by um, non-native artists such as Andy Warhol. So it's a really fascinating show. It's great if you remember the 60s. Uh, you'll remember remember all of these wonderful things and um, you know there's some wonderful artists working in that same style today so it's a really accessible show it's colorful it's fun and we're really pleased to have it here for the next year great well we are the roaming boomers so I do remember the 60s <laughs> thank you Kate well Dave and I are going to be taking that tour I'm so excited about that the tour is getting ready to, to um, get started so we'll catch y'all later bye Well, we just finished our tour of the newest exhibit here at the Herd Museum. It's called Pops. It's uh, art from the 1960s. Being a baby boomer, it really brought back a lot of memories. It was just wonderful. Then we filled our bellies in the wonderful cafe here at the Herd. If you're going to take a trip to the Phoenix area, plan a day here at the Herd Museum. It is a wonderful place. You will be glad that you did. Well, that's it for now. Make sure that uh, you check out all the photos. Subscribe to our website, thewarmingboomers.com. We are on Facebook and Twitter. Time to pack up and head home. Bye.